businesses are starting to reopen, but counties are still reporting new COVID-19 infections and there's still no vaccine. Some people say they're afraid to go back to work. So we have Corey Chalmers here. He is the CEO of Stericlean. He joins us live on Skype. Good morning, Corey. Good morning, Kim. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So can you tell us how can employers properly clean and disinfect to fight this virus? Sure, I think the important thing that people need to remember is the cleaning part, not just the disinfection. The misconception is that we can go buy a can of Lysol or some spray disinfectant and spray the surfaces and our kitchens or our businesses are clean, and that's not true. So we really need to focus on cleaning, removing the biofilms, which are just the clusters of germs, bacteria, things that are on our hands all the time that touch surfaces. So when you think of opening a business, your doorknobs, your keyboards, mice that we use, any appliances, those areas need to be cleaned with a soap solution and a towel, a clean towel to remove the biofilms to allow that disinfectant to work. And then just make sure that your disinfectant is on for the appropriate amount of time, which is typically 10 minutes. So when you say that biofilm, you mean just the natural oils that are on our hands and our fingers all the time, right? Absolutely. Yep, they're on all surfaces. All surfaces. That's that's great to know. Um, do you have any advice for small business owners who happen to be on a really tight budget? Yeah, this is this is definitely something they can do themselves. It's just a change in your procedures, you know. And I think it needs to be something that you think about doing regularly, whether that's daily, every couple of days, every couple of hours. It's going to depend on the volume of customers and staff that you have. But really, any soap solution that you can buy over the counter or just regular soap and water in a bucket. The really important part is that cleaning step, which anyone can do themselves at little, little or minimal cost. So what about healthcare facilities and emergency vehicles? We all know that they can have a little bit more than just that biofilm. What's the right way to decontaminate those areas? Yeah, those definitely should probably have a professional disinfection done because we know the threat of coronavirus, other germs, bacteria, and viruses are in the emergency vehicles and health settings. So I think in those cases, they should hire professionals to do that service for them. And what about in our homes? Do you, I see that you all definitely service uh, emergency vehicles, uh, commercial spaces. What about residential areas? Yeah, homes are just as important. And remember, this virus is not going to grow inside of our home, so it's going to be brought in and introduced from the outside. So again, cleaning those point of contacts, the high touch areas in your home is the most important thing you can do to prevent from getting sick. All right, everybody, you can learn more at stary-clean.com. Corey Chalmers, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it.